What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are live at San Diego Comic Con, and we have the full Mattel WWE booth. And it's actually wild, but like Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae are over there right now. And so I'm just going to do my run through of the booth. I just thought that was nuts. But uh, this is pretty insane, man. We have the new articulation for the basics. This is something we've been wanting for a very long time. Of course, we're going to break all this down on the channel. But uh, we have some really beautiful stuff being shown off here. We have all these new basics. And if you guys will notice, they have brand new articulation. They have ball joints on here. They're still single jointed. But uh, that whole token actually has old basic articulation. But a lot of new articulation seen here on basic figures, which we have not seen before. Huge. I wanted, I wanted a 2001 off in elite or ultimate form but I guess I'll take it as a basic for now but this is really huge I think this is massive for them I think this is gonna make them a lot more money possibly as far as basics are concerned I feel like we're gonna get a lot more people collecting basics because of this move over here we have top dollar and LA Knight so we actually have an LA Knight figure right here I'm trying my best to get the, the visuals there but I thought that was pretty interesting but these figures look really cool I mean they they kind of encapture basics a little bit, but I still I still think they look pretty high end for what they are, and I think they are going to increase in price. But look at this iridescent white suit Seth Rollins right here with this ultimate head sculpt repainted. Looks beautiful. It's got the reflective material on there and everything like that. I think they killed that, but yeah, I think this is huge for for the basics, man. I, I think this is a really cool thing. Did not expect this at the slightest. They said this has been in the works for a really long time. You even have the Logan Paul and Roman Reigns in the ring over there, but... Anyways, let's move on to the next booth. I thought this was really cool. Of course, we're going to break all this down on the channel in depth and detail later on with images and stuff, but I still think that my first thoughts on this are insane. And the Da Vinci graphic with Roman Reigns is just insanity. I thought this is really clever, so that looks beautiful. All right, guys, so we come over here to this booth. This is the pack that I've been talking about forever. You know, we, we kind of hinted at a four-pack coming soon. This was that four-pack that I saw a prototype of way long ago, and I thought it was the most interesting four-pack that you'd ever see. So when I said it was interesting, it's interesting. You have Hulk Hogan, you have Rocky Maivia, you have Stone Cold Steve Austin from WrestleMania 38, and then we do have the modern-day Becky Lynch, or, you know, Lady Gaga Becky Lynch, pretty much. Got the Then Now Forever set here, which looks really, really good. I love the packaging, but a very unique set nonetheless. But now I have to buy multiples of these just to get the Austin and the Jorts. That kind of bothers me, but we'll, we'll have to live with it down here. Over here, we have the Amazon exclusive Elite 2-pack WrestleMania 10 Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. Really sweet set. This, this Shawn Michaels figure is pretty much the Walmart flashback figure repainted a little bit. Glasses are a bit funk and like funky there, but it comes with a really tall red ladder. I don't think we've seen that before. Uh, we've seen that mold before. haven't seen it in red. And then we do have this new Razor with this new head sculpt on there that looks pretty damn good, man. And it comes with two Intercontinental Championships. You have the green vest in there looks pretty good I also apologize for the lighting because it kind of changes based on you know the, the mooding and everything like that but and we move it on up we also have this new Hulk Hogan three pack which is super beautiful this looks like a custom when I look at it through the camera it looks like a custom to me but you do have three versions of Hogan here which are really cool I mean they're pretty much repaints but they are gonna feature the new Hogan torso which we have discussed there's also images of these online but they weren't the best images of all time and he comes with a ton of cloth goods I mean this is a, a Hulk Hogan collector's dream in a box set but can you imagine having his signature on this three times in the three different gimmicks but this looks beautiful man i really enjoyed this one and then here they are loose over here so you have the hulk still rules one thing also is i thought that they would do the like hot dog tan on all three of them but they didn't they did like the same lighter tan on these two and then they did the hot dog tan on the older hulk hogan so he's got the bandana in his mouth he's got the pointing finger light blue boots and then we do have the uh NWO Hulk Hogan right here, which looks so damn good, man. My God, how beautiful. Not even a big Hulk Hogan guy, but these just look these look fantastic. So there is all three of those. Really cool box sets. I always enjoy box sets, but these look really damn cool. I really appreciate the box sets. And we move it on up from the three packs. So the three packs are here. If we move it on up, we do have new Legends figures. We have Iron Sheik here. I think these went up for, I don't think they went up for pre-order, but they did go up on Target.com. They may be up for pre-order, but you have Andre the Giant in the red, which is a unique look. We have Iron Sheik, rest in peace to the legend. I really like this look here for Iron Sheik. We have a classic Hogan here. Like, I, I never would have thought we would get this. We have so many Hogan figures coming out, but the white singlet looks cool. Really unique head sculpt on this one as well. As we zoom in right there, that looks really, really good. I like the white, though. It really makes him stand out. It's Jimmy Hart with the airbrush suit. Looks so clean. I mean, we have our share of Jimmy Hart figures, but I think this one really gets the job done, man. I think, you know, the, the brighter the better, and it's got all the different oranges and patterns and stars. I, I dig the Jimmy Hart figure. Here is the chase. So, Andre the Giant is the chase. You have the yellow trunks with the WrestleMania 2 shirt there. I think he's going to come 
same with the, the shirt and both though, but you have the red trunks and red boots, and then you have the yellow trunks and yellow boots. So you get two different offerings for Andre the Giant in this legend set. He is the chase. But again, I think these are up for pre-order on Target.com. You know, you gotta display a roulette with that. You know, who knows if you're gonna see it. I don't ever pre-order from Target because I know I'm gonna find them in, at retail before they come to my door, so. So we moved down, we already knew about this. It is the new uh, legend set. So this is actually, I don't know why my camera's not focusing, man. What the hell are we doing here? There it goes. So this is a new wave that's gonna be next to the legends. It's gonna be like the greatest hits legend. So you have like the new Terry Funk with double jointed arms. We have Honky Tonk, man. You got British Bulldog. And then we do have the new Warrior, which does come with the purple championship, which the purple, this purple doesn't look accurate to me, but we're, we're just gonna live with it, I guess. But I guess you could repaint it, but the purple's not accurate, at least to me. You guys can let me know what you think. That looks like the Ghostbusters Undertaker strap, kinda. Or was that green? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It looks like the plastic from that Undertaker. And then up here we have the new Legends that should be hitting relatively soon. You know, we, we've, we've seen these before though. I tried to, I, I wanna try and cover the stuff we have not seen in person on camera. Right here we have the new Shield Seth Rollins re-release. I don't know about this one, Brad. We kinda discussed it a little bit, but you do have the penny belt there. We have the new R-Truth that kind of looks like Travis Scott a little bit. I did not expect to see this R-Truth in here. We have that Epic Moments Bray Wyatt that was canceled from the Ultimate Deletion set, which looks really awesome. I'm, I'm still pumped about that one. We have John Nada here with Roddy Piper, which looks good. I, I found that one multiple times, but I know a lot of people missed out on it, so I can understand it. We have the Scorpion King Rock, looks really good. I, I love that one, never found that one at retail. We have the Legends Brutus the Barber Beefcake, which looks interesting. You know, I like the cloth goods in there. I could use that as an MDT entrance coat or something. And then we do have the Then Now Forever re-releases of Typhoon and Earthquake, which look pretty good. They're pretty much the same, but you know, I, I know a lot of people have missed out on these, but pretty cool to see all these up next to each other. And then we come down to the bottom and we do have Royal Rumble Elite. So we have the Royal Rumble Elite Batista here in the red. We have Beth Phoenix, which we didn't get to see full painted images of these. So they, these are like kind of brand new reveals here. Double jointed arms look good. We have Ridge Holland here, which is cool. Probably a bit ripped up for him, but you know, I, I can accept it. I also like the jacket, the mask, the batons, all cool and everything. And then you have the Build-A-Figure Elite Virgil in the Indiana Hoosier striped pants, which look badass. I think those look very clean. He is the Build-A-Figure. We're getting away from the suited Build-A-Figures now. That looks really clean there. All four of the Royal Rumble Elites. Oh wait, this is the fourth one. Here's the fourth one. That's the Build-A-Figure. So Brock Lesnar is the fourth one. We have this brand new head sculpt, which looks really unique. Uh, pretty much like the Elite 96, but with a new head sculpt, which is interesting. Don't know what's going on there. And then this one right here is very interesting. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on here with the Survivor Series Shawn Michaels because the pants are black for some reason. And they actually did end up doing what I said they were probably going to do. is like they gave him the kick pad lower leg and then they just plug the boots in there, which I guess doesn't look horrible, but I think I'm definitely gonna switch that out. I don't like the way that looks. I think switching out like some Christian lower legs and those boots would do wonders for it, make it look a lot better, but the tights are black, and I'm about to ask Steve and them about it right now because that's not accurate. I, mean, I hope we can get that changed before it comes out, but the head sculpt looks pretty good. I don't mind the head sculpt. I think it looks good. It's got the, you know, the schoolboy haircut, but then we also have Kevin Owens here in the red, which looks good. Waiting on them to go to cloth goods for the Kevin Owens figures, but we do have the red shirt there. Nice repaint of Kevin Owens. You guys know I enjoy a good Kevin Owens. And then we have the Build-A-Figure British Bulldog here with these dry brush pants, which will look really, really good. I think they did a great job on these pants. Fully painted figure here looks really nice. Head sculpt looks good. And then right here we do have the new Elite Charlotte looking pretty decent here. I think they did a good job here. Nice unique sculpts on the women's figures and stuff. You have Charlotte with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Then we have Jerry the King Lawler to complete the set with the black jacket. Looking pretty good here. You know, I'm not a huge Lawler fan, but I think this is a nice one. I thought his Elite 92 figure, or Elite 82 figure was pretty damn good, but I think this looks pretty solid, you know. You, get, you know, you get the full wave here, but there is this full bottom shelf here, and we still have plenty more to get through, man. And then moving up from the greatest hits line, we do have the Elite 105 Braun Strowman here, which is probably the best Elite Braun Strowman we've seen. You got the green shirt in there, you got Monster of All Monsters. The red joggers or the red tight pants there with the rips look really, really good. Head sculpt looks phenomenal as well. I like that Braun a lot. I think he may be, have a slim down torso as well. We have Carmelo Hayes here, who is the chase. Didn't expect that. You got the purple gear, which looks really, really clean. Love all this de design deco going on in the purple. Really good torso and formula on this guy. And then he does also come with his robe. And uh, he, he looks pretty good right there. I like the way this looks. Head sculpt, not my favorite head sculpt, but I, it checks all the boxes for you there. Here is the red gear, which is cool that it's not just the same gear. It's actually 
actually different deco as well, so that gives you a nice change of pace there with Carmelo Hayes, really look, good looking figure there. And then moving on, we do have the Elite 105 Dom, and this one's such a good one, man, because they actually repainted the skin tone. Everybody's been asking for them to repaint the skin tone, and they actually did so. He's got the Judgment Day t-shirt, really good mullet head sculpt, and then he does have his gear on, man. This is a really sweet figure. This might be this may be in contention for one of the top figures of the year. Like, i really starting to enjoy this. And then we also have the new packaging for Elite Series 105, which is this. And I know we're going to have mixed feelings about it. I don't know how I quite feel about it just yet. It kind of, I don't really know. I don't like how it cuts off the feet there, but at least we still have a window and it's not completely windowless. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about those, but I'm, I'm digging the Dom figure. I think this this is one of the ones that, that won the week so far for, as far as reveals go. All right, if we move forward, guys, we do have EO Sky here. Really good looking figure here. Her first figure was really good, and I think they want to step above here with this one in the white gear. Looks really sick. You got the women's title. The Scott Steiner right here, man. We knew it was coming. We, we, we knew it for a long time. And almost like this looks so good. It almost looks like they have dry brushing on the torso or something. But this is a brand new torso mold and new arm mold, if I'm not mistaken. I do want to confirm that. But he's got the, you know, the chain mail going over his head. Very good looking head sculpt. Very good looking figure overall. This is badass. The red and the silver and black looks very epic. I think they did a great job on this one. And then here at the end, we do have the top picks figures, which are, you know, or no, the, no, we don't, Brad. Or is this the new top picks? This is the new top picks. Wow, what a damn bummer. I'm literally reacting to that live. You have the Elite 95 Cena, you have the Elite 103 Roman Reigns, and then you have the top picks Cody. So that's weird. Is he getting another re-release, or are they going to repaint that? I don't know. And then going up from Elite 105, we do have Elite 104. We already did in-depth reviews of all of these on the channel if you guys want to check those out. But, you know, you have the star of the set, and then you have the stinker of the set right next to each other, you know? All right, guys, so we come to this middle section here. We do have the Build-A-Figure Elite Lex Luger. Really liking the shirt there, and the, uh, they just had to tease us with the stage here they just have the setup here maybe this is a teaser for the future maybe they'll release like this just little i don't know scaffolding deal here but here is the wcw letters up next to it and i guess you guys can kind of see i know a lot of people didn't understand the scale but here is the the letters up next to a figure you guys can just kind of see how damn big those WCW letters were, but coming around here, man, this looks so damn good. We have the Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive Eric Bischoff figure, which looks really good. All the head sculpts look good. And then the Roddy Piper also looks fantastic, man. It reminds me of the old Toy Biz Roddy Piper here. And you have the short haired head sculpts, man. These look so damn good. You got the right reality check shirt, which is Velcro less. I'm pretty sure it is Velcro less from what I can see. And then you do have Roddy Piper here. And Steve did say that some of the stuff that's on display here are samples and they're not final cut. So, like his skirt or his kilt here is too long. It's because it's the only one they had. But you do have uh, Roddy Piper here with a jacket. That looks so good, man. That pissed off Roddy Piper head sculpt. That is so damn good. I love the way that looks. And then this here is the Monday Night Wars elite set they did actually fix scott hall's pants here as you guys can see they actually did redo his legs here so they tucked in the boots tucked in the jeans which is accurate finally i know a lot of people were clamoring for that and then we also have hulk hogan here i know it's kind of hard to see from the back here i'll try to get a, a zoom in shot here but um you guys can kind of see it there scott hall there's hogan and dude that that kevin nash down there looks so damn good man that head sculpt and he said something about i think the hair is swappable or the hat is removable and like you can you can manipulate the hair i'm have to get like the final say on that but there's something about that kevin nash that you can do but you have this whole setup here and then here is the packaging for the monday night war set there's undertaker in the packaging and then there's scott hall really cool packaging i still don't know how i feel about the the full packaging as a whole but the monday night war set looks really damn good and then you do have austin over there i'm gonna walk on the other side so i can get a better shot of him so here's the austin on the other side you get the can of soda slash beer of course you have the camo jacket he has the hat it's pretty much the defining moments figure redone that that figure's so good one of my favorite Mattels of all time. That looks so damn good and looks great on top of the monster truck over here. Really cool setup here, man. I, I dream of one day setting up here. But there is that, and then here's a better shot of the Kevin Nash from this angle. And you guys can see like the colored shirt, dude. How freaking beautiful is that? It looks so good. I wish that we could see images of them flipped around, but I think they look good. I haven't checked any socials, but there's also the Monday Night Wars Undertaker Elite here, and I'll get a front shot of it here in just a moment, but we also have the Ultimate Edition Monday Night War Bret Hart over there with new accessories and head sculpts of the, and things of that nature, so there's the full booth there, and then we also have some Ultimates booths over there, and uh, it's so overwhelming. There's so much to share. here. I'm so glad that I decided to come out here, man. It's so incredible in person, but plenty more stuff to come. Alright, guys, so there's a front shot of the Ultimate Edition WCW Monday 
then I wore Bret Hart and then here is the accessories as well. Uh, head sculpts, you know, they look like they're melting into a puddle, but that's okay. You know, we, we got Bret Hart head sculpts we can make work. The black gear looks good. You know, that's his, what, third Ultimate Edition now? And then here's Undertaker. Pretty brilliant looking Taker. I like the way he looks there. I like that pissed off expression we got going, but this is really cool. And I just noticed he has Ultimate Edition feet, or I may have noticed that at WrestleMania, but nonetheless, who cares? Let's move on to the Ultimate Edition booth. Moving on next, guys, we do have the Ultimate Edition booth. Here's Bobby Lashley in the McDonald's gear. Looking good, you know, looking clean. He's got the shirt on there, nice head sculpt, he's got the screaming expression. I thought his eyes were closed, but it looks like they are painted in there. And then he does have the Bobby Lashley US Championship, all looking good. We knew this was coming, but it still looks good. Here is the money, man, 2001 Kurt Angle. It's not the exact gear that I wanted, you know, it doesn't have the boots that I wanted out of a Kurt Angle, but it's still pretty damn good. I like the cloth singlet, I like how you can pull the straps down, and then you also get the opportunity, if you don't want, you can have him in the trunks there. Uh, we'll, we'll see what surgery can do, but you have the crying head sculpt, WWF Championship. Very clean. It's so nice to, to see Kurt Angle in a modern light like this in Ultimate Edition form. And then we do have like the serious face sculpt here uh, with the gold medals, which is, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's not my favorite head sculpt, but I do like the entrance greats head sculpt. We'll play around with it. We'll, we'll try to make it work, but I do love that we're getting this figure. I got to definitely, I, I, I need this autograph or something in Ultimate Edition form. Then we have Bianca Belair, she has the jacket, and then uh, without the jacket here, really good articulation here, looking good, posing around, got the orange fur jacket, looks really, really good. And then now we have the Ultimate Legends, Ultimate Warrior, which is going to be Target exclusive, which they did give him the Macho Man and Hulk Hogan tan treatment there with the interchangeable head sculpt. We saw that earlier in the day, that duster looks incredible, and then we did see Brock Lesnar and RBD, who also went up for pre-order, but uh, we already know about these, but they look really damn good in person as well. And then down here, we do have some Ultimates men on card. You got Randy Orton, which I think my review of that's going up either tomorrow or it was supposed to be today, but I bumped it till tomorrow. It's up on Patreon, though, if anybody wants that. And then we do have the Legends Target exclusive rock figure with the track suit. And then we have the Monday Night War Roddy Piper Ultimate Edition here. I love this, man. This looks so good. Didn't think it just brings me back to the Toy Biz one, so that really kind of sets me back, even though they had a cloth jacket. And then going down here, we do have the Usos Ultimate Editions Men on Card, and then they do have their box here, which this is the first time I'm seeing this in person, but it looks so good. That box set looks so nuts. I'm sure this will be in stock relatively soon. It is ringside exclusive. Use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%, but damn, man, what a beautiful looking set with the Usos ringside exclusive two pack. Can't wait to. Of course, review these in a, in a video soon here on the channel. And then if we come over here, we do have the new Rick and Slam cycles. These feature the old basics, so, but they do have a really nice paint job on them. They almost look like choppers, and then in the back, they have like a little uh, little bucket, but that looks really good. You got Hulk Hogan. I love the way that looks. It looks like classic art or something, but I love the way these are painted. They look they don't look as cheap as the first versions did. I think these look really, really good. I hate that we have the same characters, but who the hell else are you going to put on a motorcycle, Brad? You know? I mean, I don't know about that. And then we do have, I think these are top picks basics. We have the Bianca Belair here in the pink. Why is this not focusing? There we go. Bianca Belair in the pink. We have LA Knight, his first time in the line figure here. Beautiful looking head sculpt. Maybe we'll see an elite tomorrow. We're going to have more reveals tomorrow, but it'll be today at the time you're seeing this. We have the Rock figure here, which looks yeah, like every other Rock basic. And then we do have Brock Lesnar there with a new head sculpt, that disgruntled head sculpt from the Royal Rumble Elite, which is interesting. I like the basic packaging, I guess. It's kind of plain Jane, but yeah, what, what, who cares? And then down here we do have like some knuckle crunchers or something like that. It's very interesting. You know, they're your kind of like gimmick play toy things. Uh, the Seth Rollins looks really, really cool. I like that gear he's got going on there. And then here is Roman Reigns. He's got a full red glove on there. That looks cool. Oh, never, never mind. It's fingerless. Okay, that was weird. And then they do come with, like, some cool accessories and stuff, which I don't really care for these, but, I mean, they're pretty cool. Like a little desktop accessory, you know, like picking up and play when you're downtime at work or something. It also has a ring, which is cool. But anyways, that does it for this case. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Look at the Kurt Angle, man. It looks so much better than it did in prototype form. I'm still going to play around with the formula, see what we can come up with, but I'm so happy to see this figure. And coming over here, we already knew about these, but it is the Amazon exclusive Gobbledygooker and Undertaker Ultimate Edition 2-pack. We saw these back at WrestleMania. However, they do look really good. You know, we kind of advanced it last time they were just coming through the curtain. Now they're beating up on Dusty Rhodes. And then we do have the Gobbledygooker egg breaking out. And then there is the Gobbledygooker with Mean Gene. And there's the big box set. This box set's actually really massive. It's much bigger in person than you'd, you'd think. But it does have to fit this giant egg in it, so I guess it makes sense. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we saw these already, but I did want to show them. 
And then coming over here, we do have the Coliseum Collection box, and it pretty much just features our first Roddy Piper. You have the Coliseum Collection Series 1 with Terry Funk and Hogan. You have Series 2 with Jake and Rick Rude over here, which we've reviewed on the channel. And then we have the next series, which is going to be Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel, which, you know, it, I don't know. Like George the Animal Steel getting an ultimate is crazy. Our ultimate collections are just growing by the daily. It's absolutely insane. But I'm really excited to get Roddy Piper. He was on my wish list for a long time. Now we're going to have a WCW version to pair with it. And again, man, I, I love that reveal. That was a great reveal. Even though I knew it was coming, seeing it in person and actually getting to see it pose around and stuff and then, you know, relating it back and all the accessories, you get you get the point. And then coming over here, we do have the Retro 4-pack again. You got Wendy Richter in the ring with Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's dome looking massive, my boy. Jesus Christ, but these all look good. You know, I enjoy a good retro collection. You got the new four pack there. And then we do have superstars over there that I can't get to right now, but those look damn good as well. All right, fellas, here we go with the superstars booth. We do have Andre the Giant. He is massive compared to the rest of them, which I think is fantastic. I think they did a really good job here. Hopefully, my voice is not uh, being shouted out here, but these look so good. Look at the chest hair, man. Doink looks so toyetic, man. I mean, look at this Doink figure. We have all of these different superstars figures that look really fantastic. I think they did a great job on these. You got Captain Lou. You have Bam Bam Bigelow. All the cloth goods on these look absolutely fantastic. Love this, love this, love this line. I wish that I was up to date on it, but I'm getting drowned out a little bit, so we're gonna move on. Anyways, man, that is pretty much the full Mattel booth tour for the WWE San Diego Comic Con. There are more reveals coming today. At the time you're seeing this, I'm posting this in the morning, and my ultimate review of Randy Orton is gonna come either tomorrow. I guess I can keep pushing it back. You know, I, I, I want to keep it San Diego Comic Con revolving around. I don't know if we'll do our sit down until later. Uh, I might do it this weekend. We'll see about that. It just depends on time and stuff like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to see the reveals tomorrow. We have the booth tomorrow, like the panel reveal. Seth Rollins is going to be here. We'll see if we can get him on the channel in some capacity. We'll see about it. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the San Diego Comic-Con coverage for preview night, man. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Love to know all of your thoughts on these down below. Uh, I know I didn't get to get into my full details again. We're going to do the sit down and review every single figure and talk about it and break down the images because there's a lot to get out there and a lot to talk about for sure. I will, uh, of course, put that up to you guys at a later date. But I try to get my first thoughts out there, not my full, complete thoughts on every single thing shown. But I did want to showcase it to you and break it all down. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, click the link in the description below. Greatly appreciate those guys as well. But that is going to wrap it up for Preview Night, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll never